All right. Uh, hi, Mr. Bishop here, and we're going to talk about the last part of week one. So um, please watch this video for detailed instructions. If you're confused, this should be a pretty short video. So after you've completed your virus model in activity two, you're going to take the same, some of, uh, one of the photos you took to uh, post to your own Google site, and we're going to post it to a discussion board to share with our peers, and we're going to share some of our thoughts with our peers. Um, so if you go to your, um, your own Google site, and again, um, just a couple of uh, reminders. If you haven't made your template yet, make sure you click these three dots up here. Duplicate the template. Do not edit the template I've put out for everyone. Um, and then um, also make sure you are uh, going here um, and sharing with others and then sharing with wbishop at sandy.net so that I can see your Google site. Uh, I think there's still some of you out there that may have duplicated the site but not shared it with me yet. So um, thank you for all of you. I, I'm seeing more and more sites each day. Um, remember, I'll be grading stuff on a weekly basis. So if you don't see extra credit points right away, just remember, you know, give me seven, uh, five, five to seven days to go through and update stuff as you're completing it. Um, but, and if you don't share it, I can't see it. So you can't get extra credit. And that's, so uh, that's why that's an important step. So, um, week one down here, week one discussion. So you um, can only earn credit for this if you've completed um, making your model. And we talked about in the last video with activity two. So, uh, you know, get creative, as I said. If you don't have a printer at home, it's okay. You can use a uh, postcard, cardboard, um, find some paper around the house and some something that's string like and something that's cotton like and you can make your own virus model uh, the instructions are linked to activity two and um, use your imagination create those models and then once you have those models and a photo of it go ahead and so if you go to the discussion board for week one, so it is a shared Google Doc. So if you click on it and then click open a new tab, it should open up to week one, activity one discussion board. And once it loads up, just a quick reminder about discussion board behavior. Um, Loading time. So, distance learning week one discussion board. So, make sure your response is unique. Do not copy and paste your peers' responses. Um, choose a legible font color other than black. Put your first and last name in the first column. So, that's over here. So, you'll put a picture of your model right here. Um, so you can go to, if it loads up, you can go to insert up here and then you can insert that photo, um, whether you've saved it to your drive or your computer, wherever it is on your computer. Then um, you've already answered this question on your Google site, but I want you to share your response with uh, everyone so that we can all have uh, a discussion about it and see what other people think. So um, share what you think the string in your model represents. And then um, one fun fact or note from the videos we watched. So that was on the notes and videos for week one. There were three of them. So um, go back, review your sketch notes, and pick out one fun fact or note. And 
um, post it to that discussion board. Once you've posted your picture, what you think the string represents, and your uh, fun fact or note from the videos, you have completed week one of distance learning. So give yourself a pat on the back or a high five, whatever you know your celebration of choice is. And then um, you can get started on week two, and I'll be posting videos on that soon.